Hey, good morning. Welcome on this beautiful, darky Monday, the first day of the week here in Holland. Well, um, we uh, deleted uh, the OS X, we deleted XP, we deleted Windows 8, and I, or I installed uh, Windows 7 on uh, the Toshiba, the L300. You probably saw uh, me installing um, Leopard Snow on it and it was running just fine. But uh, I just did it to test and now I installed the original version of Windows 7 that comes with this Toshiba. Uh, it's the L300 and why am I creating this video? Well, um, I see so many people, so many people struggle with their Windows computer. And I'm talking to Windows users, uh, I'm talking uh, to uh, people that um, are like running Windows and not even knowing what the system is doing, running a lot of spyware along with the Windows and these people are also doing banking business with, this, with, their, with, with their computer. And as you know, um, also here in Holland, many banks have problems these days because uh, people have trials on their computer and spyware and they will just uh, go with the infected browser to the site of the bank and they will log in with their account details and all details are being hacked and you know, at the other side, uh, somebody else uh, has the, knows that the trying is contacting the bank and that while they are making a transition, the hacker will log uh, into the account and their account, the, the owner's account, bank account will stuck and they will, won't be able to do anything at that moment because there's already some hacker busy emptying the the uh, the cred some credits from you know from that from that account so you know it's very important if you want to run windows and you know 70 percent of the world is like running windows okay uh, not so many people are using macs and not so many people are using android uh, as an operating system and of course you have a group people running Linux but these are hackers and these are people that are really 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 smart you know uh, we are just consumers we are normal people so that's why um, I'm gonna show you how to install um, how to um, um, uh, make choices in the software you want to install on your computer make sure that of course your operating system is legal you know don't install an illegal version with um, activators and so because that you know that activator is trying as well so you know you think that you have activated windows but in fact your windows knows more about you than you wanted to know about you you know and it's also telling other people so you must be careful with that you know just buy a laptop with a license and use that number and you know it's windows that's the way windows work it's annoying it's not a mac i mean like a mac if you have a mac and you have you buy a, 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 a the, the, the installation dvd of the mac uh, now we can buy lion and you also have uh, leopard for 25 dollars or euros you know you have the cd and, or the dvd and then you can install it on, on any mac you have in your house you know there's nothing like you cannot install it on that mac or you should install it on that one because license you know windows works with license and you know um i don't know if you guys know but uh, we people in the last uh, 10 years 12 years since uh year, year 1997 uh, when people came on the internet um, you know, people did many things on the internet. Uh, I'm not talking about uh, only watching porn and um, uh, uh, doing um, uh, bad things like hacking other people, you know, but also uh, things like uh, illegal films, movies, download. In the United States, many people got uh, really uh, sued by, by companies. And you know, we have now our big uh, friend called uh, SOPA, SOPA, Stop Online Piracy uh, uh, Company, some company, I don't know the A, what it stands for, I should check that out, but SOPA is some, is some institute that uh, wants to uh, control the internet and they want to control everything and Windows is already doing that, you know, I mean the new version of Windows 8, to my opinion, you know, it has SOPA built in, so I don't want that. Anyway, what we want to do 
is we want to make good choices of what we want to install on our computer. If you buy a computer, you must think of what you want to do with the computer. You know, you cannot buy a computer and want to do everything with a computer. You know, that is like somebody walking on the street that doesn't know what to do. You know, you must know what you want to do with a computer. And you should try to learn some apps or, or maybe your favorite game, you know, so you have fun running your computer and that you're not like running around in circles and just clicking uh, uh, internet and uh, hotmail and go back to the news and go back to your YouTube and go back to see if somebody left you a message on Facebook. I mean that's running around in circles. A friend of mine made a song about that. You should check it out. Johnny Baby, Running Around in Circles. A great reggae song. Okay, we're not gonna talk about too much things anymore. I want to show you what you should do after installing Windows 7 and at this point um, we're gonna take a look at my desktop okay welcome to my little desktop I'm not doing this with some capture program so you will have to listen and watch what I'm trying to tell you okay first of all when you install Windows it will look like this let me put it back the way it looked it will look like this yeah it will look like this you see I already installed Chrome because when you first click um, Explorer you will get a whole search that you have to do I just click do that later I go to tools I go to internet options and I type in Google I go to settings and I make from the 50 I make 8 megabyte all right and then I click OK so now I have this home page if I click on home it will bring me to Google what we're gonna do first after you must make sure that you install all the drive as well the drivers you can find by going to properties uh, on your computer and then device manager and you must make sure that you have no question marks here or how you call it remarks you should have no no marks everything should look good that means all the drivers are installed so now you're good to um, to install a different browser I I had to do it the other way first of all you must go to the internet and then you type Komodo internet security that's the first thing you type and then you go to the site of Komodo because you must protect your computer that's very very important and if you go here little up here then you see download just hit download that will bring you to another site or to another page and up there you will see buy now and you will see download it's 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 a little smaller than the one they are selling but here this one is completely free downloaded as 80 megabyte if you're on a modem connection you should get high speed internet or let somebody download it for you okay so when you did that you must also install codex because windows is stupid it doesn't know too much codex so you just type codex you go to free codex or free dash codex.com and you look at the site here for the k light mega codec pack okay you just hit that one and take one of the servers here and download the package okay when you did that um, you can go back to home and you can install Google Chrome just hit on Google Chrome install it okay that will help you we also gonna install Firefox we will not use Explorer anymore we will not use it anymore so we will unpin it here and we might even uh, ignore it in uh, the all programs here we will just like uh, hit the uh, right mouse button and delete it from the program list yes we want to delete okay so we don't see explorer anymore explorer is not really living anymore okay now we're gonna make the computer a little faster so we could click on personalize and we go to um, to um, uh, uh, teams visuals and then you just hit on windows classic team okay as you can see I already made the the taskbar smaller I did that by clicking here use small icons okay I will drag that on top because I am a Mac uh, a user now I don't use Windows too much this is just for you know because this thing you know is running it's 
original operating system now um, well uh, as you see I did not install anything yet so now we're gonna make sure that we're gonna protect the computer and I'm gonna show you how to do it because you know all this uh, free software has a uh, spyware and you must beware of spyware here we have the installer uh, I already installed Klight Kodak Mega Pack, and I uh, I choose for uh, um, for uh, let me show you how I did it because the codecs are important they will play all all the all the different uh, oh, oh 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 I already installed it uh, what is it doing now let me see what it's doing. Okay, here yeah, um, it's already finished. I cannot show you, but you must do expert settings and then uh, install all the everything. Just just install all the codecs, everything, everything. Next, 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 and it will install. Then you are uh, set up. You don't have to download Real Player. You don't have to download QuickTime Play. You have all the codecs on board now. Your Windows just got smarter. Okay, now we're gonna protect Windows, and we uh, were talking about. Uh, the spyware that is also included when you download a program so it's really important how to install a program don't try to be smart and just click along no be easy take it take it easy and take a good look and know get to know program makers and get to know uh, people how they um, try to trick you to get to use uh, their uh, bloody uh, how you call it uh, spyware okay first of all we see here change my DNS service to Komodo well I wouldn't do that because Komodo will know everything you do and every porn picture you're watching they will know about you you know uh, I want to enable cloud-based behavior analytics uh, of unrecognized I would not click that don't do that all right if you want you can do it but I don't do it up here installation options install komodo dragon that's a browser you don't need it install komodo jig body you don't need it as well then we go back and we just hit agree and install we get back after the install okay welcome back as you can see the virus scanner will update itself after the install and it will also also ask you if you are home or at work or at uh, some hotspot then your fire scanner is installed this is not a normal fire scanner this is one with a firewall that means um, uh, uh, as soon a program wants to go on the internet it has to pass the firewall this also has uh, it has many many good ways to protect you the antivirus it, it uh, it's I think the best fire scanner uh, you can have if you're uh, if you're not paying it's the best free fire scanner including firewall it's better than AVG please don't install AVG and don't spoil your system to install AVG AVG is I'm not hating on them but you know AVG you cannot compare that to Komodo internet security Komodo is just um, very good and I also have a user here he's uh, my friend that is uh, Eric he's my uh, guitar player and brother Hey Eric, how how do you uh, experience Komodo? Very good. How long are you working with Komodo now? For almost three two years. Three two three years. Yes. But Very what? But uh, you did you see that the new version also got some spyware in it? Yeah. Did you disable that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we just also did, and uh, well. You know, um, I'm showing the people how to, you know, protect their computer the way we are protecting our computer since um, since the 90s already. Since for ages. Yeah, for <laughs> ages, <laughs> really. Because that's really important, uh, people. And also my Dutch people, mensen. Um, it is echt belangrijk om je computer uh, schoon te hebben en te beschermen. Vooral als je ook bankzaken doet. Um, de Rabobank gebruikers. Die worden gewoon gehackt waar ze bij staan. Um, als er uh, een bepaalde trui uh, op je computer zit en je maakt contact met je bank, dan zal je, um, dan zal, uh, zal jouw, uh, um, hoe heet het, um, je, uh, je account gaat vastlopen. Alles loopt dan vast. En op dat moment is iemand anders dan jouw rekening aan het leegplunderen. Dus dat is, dat is wat er gebeurt. Uh, what I was saying is what I already said before is that um, uh, some bank users when they are uh, busy with their account um, 
you know the Trojan will stock up um, the Explorer everything else will work except the side of the bank won't work it will say uh, contact us later because uh, blah 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 and at that moment some other hacker is just like you know um, stealing money from your account okay uh, Google Chrome is very nice to use but you must do some settings in Google Chrome otherwise it's also annoying so what you should do you go to settings if it wants to load takes a second I don't even know why it was just the settings I was going to options options and as you can see <laughs> Google Chrome is crashing here it's crashing and it's loading I don't know what it's doing but okay there it is uh, make sure you select this this is already selected open this page and then also select show the home button then go to uh, advanced options and disable um, to uh, translate the pages uh, if they are in some unknown language just um, disable that because every page Google Chrome will ask you uh, you know you will start hating Google really because every page it will give you some stupid pop up do you want me to translate the stupid page I mean like that's really annoying so you know we just don't select that and you can see Google Chrome is, is, is it's looking if I have a account you know and it's trying to do many things okay um, what we also going to install is Firefox because Firefox will let us install plugins and we also have the new Firefox now it's called Firefox number 10 uh, you will be like why did you uh, why did you install Chrome well you know I install Chrome because um, if you install Chrome you will immediately also have flash installed and you know I have some uh, Google accounts and I use them with my Chrome because that's more reliable than doing it with another browser I won't go with my Microsoft browser I won't like you know go into my Google accounts all the time with the Microsoft Explorer browser why not just because I don't want Microsoft to know what I'm doing at Google it's not of the business <laughs> that's why okay um, we installed uh, the codex we installed a virus scanner we installed uh, the browsers now we have a nice system we also want this system to be really really fast so what we do we go to uh, my computer we hit properties As you can see it's a little busy this is a 2 gigahertz computer with 2 gigabyte of RAM and um, yeah here you can see the specs no big deal we do just go to advanced system settings advanced system settings and the system is busy I know I know it's yours I'll just take one shot And up here on top you can see performance just hit performance and here you can see adjust for best performance yes that will not uh, make your windows look beautiful as you can see uh, as a Mac user we're not used to all these thing and playing and all these bling bling we just want a nice good running system as you can see I got myself uh, the, the um, we call it the classic team and the system should really run fast now really it should it should uh, we're gonna empty the recycle can of course throw away all the garbage we don't need that and of course you can also set your garbage can to um, delete something immediately when you know you remove it just display um, confirm me oh, do not don't move files but you know delete them immediately okay so now you have a system that uh, we can give a nice background now we just go to personalize we hit desktop background on top here we click for wallpapers backgrounds just to give it a little nice look you know um, I like this one this really makes me happy because when I see this in the summer, I think of all the nice farmer girls walking around there and, you know, 
playing around in uh, little sexy skirts and shit like that. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> this is so much fun, eh? It's so much fun. Okay, now we have a system that is not updated yet. So we're gonna go to um, the Windows Update and we're gonna set up Windows Update. And then you must click Let Me Choose. You must not let it be done automatically. Please don't do that. Um, just click the little arrow and then download updates but let me choose whether to install them that will give you the chance to um, you know enable and disable uh, downloads or uh, updates so you don't have to install what Microsoft wants you to install so just hit OK and then it will start getting downloads for you and soon we will have to uh, update this machine with several gigabytes of uploads because as you know Windows 7 is as leak as a bucket full with holes as a, how you call this thing uh, a vergiet how you say that vergiet <coughs> this bucket with little holes in under it that's Windows it's a little, uh, it's a little leak so now we have a very fast uh, system it's also um, protected against uh, viruses and trojans and malware so now you could go to your bank but before we do that I'm gonna show you some more nice things that you can let your computer do just go to um, go to Firefox as you see we installed Firefox here and here you can go to um, you can go to, to options and oh is this Firefox? Oh no, we're with Chrome. I'm sorry. We were with Chrome. Did I in did I install Firefox? I forgot. I did not even install Firefox. Downloads. Where's Firefox? Here it is. And this is Firefox 10.2, so that's also an updated version. I remember last week we had version 9, and now we have version 10 already. So this is also really nice because with uh, Firefox you can you know download videos from uh, YouTube you can also um, download the music as mp3 files you know I hope that all is legal to do I don't know if it's legal or illegal but you can you can do it with Firefox you can just uh, install some plugins, the YouTube video downloader, uh, the YouTube uh, MP3 uh, creator, you know, <coughs> then, then you will get like a little download button under each video. So you can download the video, um, you know, and create a DVD of the videos you downloaded on YouTube. You know, you can download my videos and then you go and sell them and then you make some money for yourself and then you buy food it's all good only if you're poor eh? only if you're poor if you're poor you can copy my videos and sell them and get rich and then contact me after you get rich right contact us contact us after you get rich okay photo you so now we have firefox firefox is installed and why firefox well with my Mac I'm always uh, using Firefox as well although I use Chrome as well on my Mac and Safari is not used too much only to upload YouTube videos because Safari um, does that the best and does not get stuck up okay we don't import anything here we will just do our own settings and this is a nice little laptop I told you uh, I sold my L80 uh, 3800, the, uh, the, what was that, the Asus, I sold it for 85 bucks uh, on the marketplace and then um, I put 5 euros on top of it and for 90 euros I bought this, this laptop. Okay, and yes, we know, of course we also go to settings here. Um, where are the settings? Settings are here. Options. Go to options. Of course, we make that Google.com. 
so you don't start up your browser with lots of advertisements <coughs> or of Microsoft and of other companies that want to sell you crap that while you were busy searching some important business you know so now it's installed you can also go to YouTube now I think YouTube videos will work or we should install flash as well for um, for Firefox I'm not sure you see as you can see I must install flash for Firefox but I will show you if I go with Google Chrome that's why I like Google Chrome as well on the machine it will give me instant YouTube um, instant YouTube uh, playback this is the same computer one browser two browsers are saying cannot play this video you must install blah 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 but with uh, the Chrome browser you don't have to install anything and you see your video will start playing and that I think is really stupid of Windows because flash is installed on this computer but uh, other browsers are not using that part of flash that is really stupid Mac would never do a thing like that and Linux also would not do a thing like that never ever so that is really hypocritical of uh, this uh, Microsoft company um, well let's not hate too much on nobody what we did we installed uh, Firefox and I'm gonna show you how to um, how to get some extensions on the Firefox so you can like download videos and also if you go to these uh, adult sites you know offering all these videos then you can download these videos and then you can create a porn DVD and sell it <laughs> sell it at your work you know you might become the porn king because so much porn on the internet and you can download it all for free my friends soon soon SOPA will stop that as well eh? soon SOPA is gonna stop that because we are not allowed to watch those things so we go to add-ons up here you just click add-ons and then you you just type YouTube you just ch type YouTube and, and then extensions YouTube search and then it will load and here you can see easy YouTube video downloader just hit install download videos as mp4 and L L uh, uh, flv just install as you can see um, it's installed um, YouTube YouTube mp4 downloader uh, yeah you can also type just type mp3 and oh, this is stupid uh, and <coughs> just type mp3 and extensions what we're doing we're, we're creating a, a system as you know YouTube has many songs so if you want the mp3 you have to download YouTube to mp3 so and you see a program here is called mp3, MP3 converter audio thief so I, I'm not making thieves of you guys I'm just showing you how you can like you know um, add extensions to I, I bet they gonna Sopa's gonna kill Firefox as well because of this because you know we are not allowed to download things that are for free on the internet already we're not allowed to do that you understand so uh, if we want to use our Firefox we will have to install the plugin but the beautiful thing of Firefox is that it will not bring you to the site it will just get the plugin and that's because Firefox is also Linux based it's a program that was first running on Linux uh, and then you just type I agree and then it will download the flash you see this will not happen with um, Explorer Explorer will try to install uh, the toolbars and the spyware as well when you um, install flash so Microsoft Explorer you should never ever ever use it again I said so okay and nobody can tell me to change my mind I don't want that spyware on my computer okay now we installed the, um, the plugin and I will show you nothing is there yet you can see download nothing but but my friends we have to restart 
the Firefox we just restarted and now all the plugins will be enabled it will also show us the plugins <coughs> I think no it does not yes here it goes you see and we go to YouTube and now we can download videos at people we can download videos, we can download the mp3s, we can now, now like steal everything from YouTube. Well, I don't want to call it steal it, I just want to say uh, keep it because we like it. It's nothing like stealing, it's no stealing over here. We're just like liking something and we want to keep it before it's all gonna once delete, be deleted by SOPA. Okay, here you can see you can also download the mp3, you see that? Just hit that and it will download the mp3 so that's really cool everything is installed and here it wants to do a little update for the flash finish so this is done now we're gonna update <coughs> we're just gonna wait for the for the updates to come in And it's not giving any uh, updates yet, so we don't really worry about it. Oh yeah, one more thing that you should do. One more thing that's really important that you should do is go to properties of your computer. It's really important that people, this is really, really important. Because um, by turning off this, uh, this setting, you will be able to uh, to protect yourself from um, remote administrators to contact your computer at any time. Just here, don't allow. Here it is. Uh, where is it? Don't allow connections to this computer. But here on top, you see allow remote assistance connections from this computer or to this computer. Just turn that off. You see that? You must turn that off because that is an open door. It's an open door straight to your computer. So, now it's done. So, well, that's about it. How to, uh, you know, uh, protect your computer and to make it even a little smarter so it can do more things than when you just install Windows. Uh, this system is now pretty clean, and to keep it clean. Uh, I advise you uh, to be very careful when you install a program especially if it's a free program and some companies even dare to put spyware into uh, programs that you have to pay for you know so that is really really bad they should really find another way um, another way to make money instead of tricking the users uh, because that's what happening we are just being um, screwed by uh, software developers especially Microsoft software developers but also in Mac world it's happening you know um, programs are being offered with spyware that is already selected on and you must be so smart to select off and if you don't select off then you're screwed it's like um, you know people are giving you something to eat that is really bad for you but you already get it on a plate and only thing you have to do is eat it if you want to continue but you can also say I don't want to eat that because it's bad for me you know so you must really see it that way software developers are not cool people anymore they 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 are being pressured by big companies as Microsoft and probably also Google and and probably I don't know you know but um, they are getting pressured uh, and they are getting paid uh, really little money uh, for great work that they are doing so you know these guys are so smart and you know if they don't get the money they will just take it I mean like it's simple as one two three because all these banks and all these <coughs> other uh, companies um, they don't know nothing about computers you know so software developers should get paid good you know in the first place and shouldn't be able uh, to shouldn't be um, forced to put um, spyware into into machines because you know we we're gonna be the losers the users because these guys 
they are much smarter than us. They are like computer gods. You cannot mess with gods because they are smart. They make the deals. They are the boss. You know, and the CIA and the FBI, they are all getting hacked by these same guys. And, and when these guys are getting caught, maybe after some years, the FBI offers them a good job and <laughs> they become agents, super spy agents. And, you know, so that's the way it works. So, you know, find another way to make money on the user and don't mistreat the user. Thank you for watching. I hope you know how to um, create a, a safer computer, get Komodo, get the codex and, uh, you know, make sure all your drivers are installed properly. Then my next video uh, and I say, Stay safe there.